Hello folks, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to talk about how to give access to your repository to other accounts. Think of a scenario where there are multiple teams collaboratively developing your code or bug fixes coming from your vendors or code being developed by multiple teams. How do you share your single repository across multiple accounts? Let us say there is a code repository in account A and you want to share it with account B or account C. How do you are going to do that? So today in this example, we are going to take two accounts A and B and we are going to share the repository in account A with account B. Let us get to our console and see how we can do this. This trainer for you account starting with 5895 is going to be my account A where this repository particularly the one which is called as Lex FAQ bot is going to be shared with other accounts. So you can see here there are two repositories and this is the one I am particularly interested in sharing it. Make a note of this ARN number we are going to use it for restricting access only to this repository. So the first step is going ahead and creating a policy. The users in the other accounts will get access only to this particular repository. And I'm going to choose code commit as my service and I'm going to give all actions because I'm going to restrict it to a particular repository here. I'm going to put in the ARN here. Now my policy is created. I'm going to create a role. And this role is going to be used by another account. So click on another AWS account. And what is the other account? This is going to be my secondary account. I'm calling it as finance account. As of now, you can see here I'm in Frankfurt region. And as of now, there are no repositories here. And if I go to my IAM section, there is a user called as dev user. And this is the user that is going to commit or get access to my repository in account here. As of now, you can see this user does not have any privileges. And this user is also not member of any group. So even there are no groups are also created. We need the account number of this user. So you see here the account number is 9901. This is what we are going to put in in the role that this user is going to get access to. So update the account number here. Click on next permissions and choose the policy that we earlier created. Click on next review and update the role name. So now my role is also created. It also has a trust relationship. If you go ahead and see here, this account can assume this role and they will get the privileges as only for that repository. If you go ahead and see the JSON policy, you can see here, this is the only repository that this user will have access to or anybody having access to this role. They will be able to list other repositories, but they will be able to modify, commit or make changes only for this one. This is all the steps that you need to do in account A. Let us get to the account B and see what we need to do there. In account B, although it is possible to give permissions for this user to assume that role, I would not recommend that. Let us go ahead and create a group and make sure this group has privileges so that in future if there are more than one developer we can go ahead and add the users to this group that developer will automatically inherit the permission so let us go ahead and click on next create a group in this group there are no permissions or no users first step is adding some permissions let us choose the inline permissions go ahead and click on here custom policy click on select this is the policy that we you need to put in here make sure the ARN that you see here on line number six is the same as the ARN for the role that you created in account A if you have changed the role name go ahead and change it here as well make sure everything is perfect as it is shown here I'll put the same thing in the description so that you can copy and paste it and let us give a name for this role validate our policy and click on apply policy so now my policy is also ready the next step is adding users to this group that is especially the dev user that you see here let us go ahead and add that user now that user has been added if the dev user is logging in with his credential with the url that you see here the user should be able to switch role and get access to the code commit repository that is in the other accounts so let us go ahead and copy this url click on sign out let us log in again this time as dev user because all the steps that we are doing so far was with administrative credentials let us go ahead and try with dev user credentials now as of now this user does not have any privileges of his own if i go to code commit it will show me an error saying this user does not have privileges to list repositories in this account this user is still having the privileges for account b that is 99 account if this user wants access to account a that is the account with the repository then you need to go ahead and click on switch role and it will ask you for the account id and the role name if the user doesn't know this you can go ahead and provide it because this url is pre-built for you if you go to account a on the role that we just now created if you see here it says give this link to the users who can switch role in console so this url has been pre-built with the account number as well as also the role if i just go ahead and copy this i can come here and put it into the browser since my session cookie is already set up for dev user we should be able to do that i'm going to copy this account number put in here and also this uh, role name i'm just going to put it that here as well switch role 
and you can see here automatically it switched me to this role and I'm able to list the repositories. But remember we gave privileges only for this repository. Whereas for this repository, it is not giving me any other metadata other than the name. Even if I click on this, it will give me an error. Whereas if I go back to repositories and click on Lex FAQ bot, I will be able to list all the data that is there. Even I can make some changes here. If I could just come here, let us go ahead and make a cosmetic change, probably in the readme file. Let us go ahead and do an edit here. And my changes are committed from account B by dev user. Let us go to account A and see whether these changes are reflecting in the commit history. We are in account A now. Let us go to our code. The first thing I'm going to check is I'm going to check the readme file and see whether the commit that we just now made is there. I'm going to click on view source and you can see here there's a last line that is there. Even if I go to my commits and you can see here the latest commit is also done by mystique and it was just now. So this is how you give access for your repository across accounts. Go ahead and try this in your own accounts. If you have any problems, put them in the comment section. If you like our content, I would recommend you to go ahead and like them, comment on them and share it with your colleagues so we all can learn from each other. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.